Hi everyone, the boilerplate SaaS templates market is hot right now. People are trying to sell these shovels during the gold rush and entrepreneurs are buying these shovels to ship their products as fast as possible. Recently, I was watching a video where this entrepreneur paid for a boilerplate and used this to launch their product. I think it's a good idea that you're trying to launch a product as fast as possible using already uh, developed boilerplates and templates. But I think you should keep the cost as low as possible and personally i like to keep it limited to the domain that i'm going to use everything else should be free for example you can use free hosting by Vercel, you can use Foshog for analytics you can use crisp for customer support you can use payments providers like stripe or Le lemon squeezy or paddle mailing service so you can use mailgun and for a free workspace email you can use zoho and database is provided by a free service provider like superbase or neon uh, that's all you need to get started and to launch your first SaaS product and see if there is there are people interested in that particular idea and if they need it i have been using these same templates i have been using the same method of finding a suitable template for my SaaS products and i love the open source community because i've been contributing to it as well for a long time now and i i do have a few open source boilerplates templates on my profile as well so if you want that you can use those so let's see the first place where you can find nextjs and other boilerplates it is provided by vercel you need to go to vercel.com forward slash templates and they provide this very good ui where you can filter out your boilerplate by use case by framework by css framework by database by the cms that you're going to use by the authentication framework and by analytics as well and frankly these are pretty good templates like if you are just getting started you should use these and these are MIT licensed templates so you can use these for commercial purposes you don't have to worry about the license part and you can just directly clone the repository modify the copy and deploy it on Vercel and you can get started from there another good place to find templates is Nux.js so if you are going to use Nux.js for your application you can go to nux.js forward slash templates and you are going to find some pretty good templates out here as well these are going to use Nux.js uh, as their full stack framework and you can click on a github link and it will take you to the github repository of that particular template for example this is for a blogging website and you will find some SaaS templates here as well for example this dashboard pro it is a premium so you can use either the free one or you can buy the paid ones i'm going to show you one more way which is in my opinion the best way to find these open source templates which is obviously going to be github and what you need to do is go to github.com and in the search bar just search for SaaS starter or SaaS templates and then you can use the advanced search to filter them by a lot of different parameters i use this on a daily basis to find boilerplate code to find code for integrations and i just take that and ensure that it is mighty licensed and then i'm using that in my own software and you don't need to feel like you are stealing something because it is mid license so they intended it to be used by other people for free and you can just provide them credits or give them a shout out if you're using or basically just give start their repository and you can use that code for free and you can filter them out by a lot of different parameters for example the number one parameter that you should filter these repositories by is the language that you're using so if you're using typescript or python you should filter them out by that then you can filter them out by you can filter them out a particular code syntax or code line so if you are using let's say superbase so you can filter them out by dependencies and then you can sort them out by either most used ones are basically the most stars or most folks because these tell you that people like this template a lot or people are using this template a lot so you can find all kind of templates using this particular method and these are all going to be free you don't need to pay for them and you need to spend some time that's for sure like you need to spend maybe an hour or two or maybe a day to find the perfect template for yourself here uh, if you want to launch fast you can spend half, half an hour to one hour finding uh, a template or you can use the templates that i'm going to show you like particular templates but if you spend a day i'm pretty sure that you're going to find some which is going to align with your tech stack and the product that you're trying to ship very closely so you should definitely try this one this is the best method to find the open source 
boilerplates and templates so let me show you some of the templates that i have been using uh, first one is open sas this is the best template out there currently which is open source and is used by a lot of people as you can see around 6000 people have start this repository uh, there are around 600 forks of this repository and the documentation is pretty good for this and you can see the tech stack that they are using so you see they are using Astro, Stripe, OpenAI is integrated, AWS S3 is integrated for file uploads, Mailgun or uh, SendGrid is integrated for sending emails, Tailwind is used for styling, they are using <coughs> Tail Admin for dashboard and Playwright for testing code and you can basically custom <clears throat> and basically you can customize this a lot and you can use the part that you're going to use and simply delete the ones that you're not going to use and replace them with the other boilerplate that you found on github the next one i frequently use is this sas starter kit from boxy hq it is pretty good because it is robust it is very cleanly written and it has a lot of flexibility in terms of what i want to use and what i don't want to use they have Next.js, Tailwind, Postgres for database, React for frontend, Prisma, ORM, TypeScript, Safety. Then you have SML Jackson for handling your single sign-ons and, and then you have Swiss for webhook orchestration and Stripe for payments, Playwright for testing, Docker for deployments and Next Auth for authentication. And you can deploy this to three different platforms so you can have a lot of flexibility there as well uh, depending on what you want to use uh, you can deploy it to you can deploy it to Vercel or Heroku or Digital Ocean and I'll share the links in the description now let me show you the boilerplates or templates that you can find on my github profile so the number one is react based boilerplates and here you have basically a super repo where you can have uh, different boilerplates combined into one so you can use something without the authentication or with the JWT authentication if you want if you don't want to use the Next.js and you want to use the react ones you, the, you can use the starter template if you want to use Next.js with JWT you can use this one if you want to use Next.js without the JWT you can uh, this particular folder this is basically a replica of Weedly uh, theme which is provided at theme forest website and it has all these components and the code is basically this basically the same it is a replica of this the next one that i have in my profile is basically shieldpeer shieldpeer is a platform that i created uh, almost a month ago so you get a full blown landing page along with the implementation in one repository and the implementation is pretty simple the documentation is pretty simple you can use this for your SaaS applications if you just need a landing page for for your SaaS, you can also use serve C landing from my profile and this is basically a Nux.js or basically a Vue.js landing page for my SaaS application that I launched in January uh, it is called serve C it is basically it is basically a SaaS for freelance agencies platform has a free tier as well so if you want to use this you can use this as well uh, but the full landing page along with its source code is available in my github so you can use this and the last repository that i want to show you is this awesome sas boilerplates by samirinov hyphen am i'm going to link it in the description and he has basically found all the boilerplates and SaaS available segregated by different technologies like Ruby on Rails, Node.js or JavaScript and Laravel and Next.js, Next.js, Django and some of these are free, some of these are paid but you get all the templates and boilerplates in one place and this way you don't have to do the manual work of finding boilerplates by doing the search and going to different links you, you can find all these in one place and you can just see which ones are open source which ones are closed source that's it that these are the best ways in my opinion to find a boilerplate or sas template for your product and i think you should use this to keep your costs low and just buy the domain use this boilerplate launch the product validate the product then in the future if you want to have more features maybe hire a developer or uh, use a paid code from somewhere so that's it for today if you found something valuable in this video do give it a like a comment and subscribe to this channel for following along our journey i'm going to release more open source platforms and boilerplates on my profile so do follow me on github to 
access those boilerplates for free.